welcome back so in the previous video we have deployed virtual machine scale sets and we have got to know like what it is and how it works and the next exercise will be implementing and monitoring and alerting by using azure monitor so before jumping into the lab let's know what is azure monitor so based on the azure monitor capabilities we can scale up and scale out based on our needs so how how will we know that like what are our needs and so on so here comes the azure monitor so using this uh we can get like more insights about what our infrastructure is doing. So as you can see here in the image, the data is collected from workloads, infrastructure, Azure platforms and custom, uh, you know, sources, which is built into this data platform in which we have metrics, logs, as well as traces. So the important topics here, metrics has metrics and logs. And uh, basically we can collect data from uh, VM applications and so on. And to visualize it, we'll be using Workbooks dashboards. And for analyzing, we'll be using uh, Metrics Explorer as well as Log Analytics, which we have used in the previous videos. And uh, in the next lab, we'll be talking about this Metrics Explorer and we'll see how it works. And to respond it, uh, we'll be using alerts and actions, which will be created in the next video. And even the auto scale, which we'll be doing. So, and we can also integrate with events, hubs, logic apps, and so on. So it's just a basic glance so that before entering into the video, you'll be having uh, uh, a basic knowledge about this Azure monitor. So in this video, and as you can see, like uh, coming to the metrics, it's half of the data platform that supports the Azure monitor. And the half would be the logs, uh, which collects and organizes logs and performance data. And we can analyze this data using uh, rich query language. And uh, coming to the metrics, it can only store numerical data. Whereas if you talk about logs, it can store a variety of uh, data types. That is what the basic difference uh, between these two. And let's know more about uh, metrics. So using metrics, as you can see, we have three different uh, advantages. One is which it can analyze uh, them interactively by using uh, metrics explorer, as we have seen in the uh, before slide and we can proactively notify with alert with the value crossed threshold and uh, in the end we'll see the mail that we'll be getting if that uh, if that particular threshold has uh, been exceeded and we can also visualize uh, them in the workbooks or the dashboard so as you can see the metrics uh, collects the data from azure resources applications virtual machine agents custom metrics and so on so if we talk about Azure resources, the platform metrics are created by Azure resources and gives you the visibility into their uh, health and performances. And uh, coming to applications, coming to applications, the application insights creates a metrics for you to monitor applications to help you detect performance issues and track trends and uh, how the application is being used. And coming to the other, so coming to these virtual machine agents, these uh, are collected from the virtual uh, machines. And coming to the custom metrics, uh, you can define your own custom metrics in addition to standard metrics that are automatically available. So only if you need any customization, you can uh, go ahead with that. And everything is collected here. And uh, these are different uh, features that can be used, like insights, dashboards, workbooks, and metrics explorer, and metrics alerts. And you can see, Let's go to the next. So these are some of the features uh, which can be used. Analyze, alert, visualize, automate, retrieve, export, and archive. So these are uh, some of the features uh, of these metrics. And let's see about action groups, which we'll be uh, creating in the next video. So an action group is collection of uh, notification preferences that are defined by the owner of this Azure subscription. So when these action groups are created and when you, you know, create certain alerts, for example, let's say the CPU usage is more than 40% or 30%. At that time, uh, this particular action group will be triggered and you'll be getting a notification to your email. So you can uh, uh, keep the preferences, whether you want email, no email notification or phone number and so on, like there are other options which you can use. So specifically for this, uh, for the next video, I have chose uh, email. So let me show you. So this is the action group that has been created and you can see the mail. So you'll be getting a notification using your mail and uh, you can see the resource group name and the action group that has been triggered. And you can see 
the Azure Monitor Alert that, that was triggered. So this is how you will be getting notifications when you use your action groups and alerts. And based on this, you can take the appropriate actions.